Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time Sports. I'm your host, Keith Weissike. Thank you so much for joining us, however you may be joining us. We appreciate it. Always glad to have the, the, the fall feel in the air, and that means playoff football. We welcome into the program, welcome back, Coach Kyle Lasang, head football coach at Edie White. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Uh, it's been an exciting season, uh, ready to get in the playoffs and, and make some noise, hopefully. That's exactly right. Now, this week is an interesting week, and of course, you guys have a bye, and so there's some other changes on campus this week, though, yeah. right? Yeah, we're we're on campus five days a week now. Right. Uh, Vanderbilt's back home in in Homa, and uh, you know it's been a it's been a it's been an adjustment. We uh, we were there two or three times a, a week. Now they're five five times a week. Um, having our ca kids on campus though has kind of felt like it's normal again. Right. Uh, being able to get to practice at the time you want to practice those right. kinds of things. So. Um, just a different, different feeling about being there every single day. Yeah, and that's just kind of one of the many things that have happened and the situations yeah. that you've dealt with. I mean, yeah. you guys have overcome so much adversity. Every football coach has. Yeah. Uh, let's just talk a little bit about how your team has adjusted over the season and how they've kind of recovered and overcome some of the issues that Ida presented. You know, I really, uh, very honestly, you know, it, it was if you didn't know a hurricane had passed uh, the, and you just watched us at practice, you really didn't see a difference. I, I, wow. I didn't see a difference in our football team in my 26 years of coaching. You know, wow. they, when they came to practice, it was it was practice. Um, kind of blocked out everything else, which I think was is a credit to them. It yeah. was key. It was key to uh, to our performance this football season. So they've done a really good job of that. Um, really didn't have a lot to do with coaching or, or anything like that it had more to do with our kids and maybe part of it was just feeling feeling fortunate to be able to play the game and uh, practice wasn't a grind it was uh, it was an opportunity so those kinds of things uh, really worked well uh, but being back on campus and, and trying to get back into a playoff kind of feel um, it, it's a difference being on campus five days a week. Well, and that's just one of those things you say you credit to your kids, but it's credit to your kids and your coaching staff. Yeah. I mean, they've really been able to kind of welcome these kids, but it starts with good character. Yeah. And it seems yeah. like the kids, have, instead of some people looking at, at it like, oh, this is happening to me, why is this happening to us? Right. They were just glad to be on the field. No doubt. They were you glad know, to practice and play. And we, you know, we, we talked about this week on Monday because we obviously we have a bye this week and we're not going to play a football game. But, you know, for a kid, it might be, the question might be, why am I here? Why am I practicing? I don't play anybody on Friday. And they've really attacked this week of practice, you know, and what, whatever it was. And I, I told them two things. Uh, first of all, it's getting ready for whoever we're playing and, and correcting the issues that we might have. But secondly, it's auditions for next season and maybe some young kids that are hoping to play next year get noticed in a bye week. So uh, it's been really good. Well, what a great perspective to have. It's not just about this week. It's not just about right. this season, right. but it's about growth overall. Yeah, and no, that, that's our focus. You know, we, we, tr we try, uh, honestly, to not speak a whole lot about who we're playing mm -hmm. on Friday, uh, purposely, because it, we want it to be about us, um, our system, the way we do things um, from a football perspective, uh, trying to control the football offensively and keep their athletes off the field is, you know, it's something that we, that's really our main concern. It's not really about our opponent. So the mission is to control the ball and control the game yep. and prevent them from really right. making a difference offensively for yeah. you. Uh, athletically. Prevent and prevent, protect the ball, protect the ball, prevent big plays. Uh, if they're going to, if they're going to score, have them grind the clock out. Uh, take up some time off that clock offensively. That's always what we're looking to do. Uh, and then we'll try to sneak in a big play here and there, but you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's really like our the philosophy. Yeah. That's just one of those things yeah. that you're planning on. Uh, but, but you guys have been able to do that this season. Yeah. You know, really, and it's about executing. You know, you can have a great game plan. You can have a great mission. The yeah. kids have to be convicted and, and, and really be able to execute that. We're really executed well. You know, not, not a ton of mistakes uh, other than we, the first week against well, Assumption. Um, well, but you not a lot of that. Yeah, not yeah. a lot of turnovers, not a ton of penalties. Uh, clean football 
is is mm. ca- kind of how we describe it. Not a lot of missed assignments. Um, wow. Not a lot of missed alignments on defense, being in the right spots, and then trying to match up with them athletically. But the first the first point is you gotta you gotta line up correctly and play yeah. clean football to have a chance. Yeah. You gotta know where to start. Yeah. Even when there's audibles and changes yeah, yeah. at the line, you gotta know where to go. Definitely. And it seems like the preparation has been there. Sounds yeah. like that's what we're hearing. Yeah, we um you know, like I said, offensively especially, which is kind of the side of the ball I, I deal with. That's your thing. We we don't really um we don't really worry about what they're playing on defense or anything like that. We just we just execute what we what's in our game plan. Um, try to throw some new wrinkles in every now and then, but sure, you know, uh, uh, it's more about us. Yeah, as we got as we got about a minute left, Coach. Uh, let's talk about maybe some of the things that you're wanting to focus on. It sounds like what you're telling me is you want to keep doing what you've been doing. Absolutely, it's worked for eight weeks now. <laughs> we're not we're not going to change yeah. it. If it uh, ain't broke, it's not. You know, and we were fortunate to finish number one in the power rankings. Yeah, uh, it actually it was kind of weird because it came down to the end and we needed uh, we actually needed Ellender to beat South Terrebonne to give us an extra point. It happened. Right. Put us in the one seed and uh, got us a bye. Um, we think we're in a good spot in the playoffs and Division two playoffs are brutal, but uh, we, we're going to give it a shot. I love it. Well, coach, we want to uh, congratulate you on a great season. want to congratulate you on finishing number one. And more importantly, we want to congratulate you on what you've been able to do with your kids through this season and what you look forward to not only this year, but next. Absolutely. It's been a tremendous season. Great experience. Yeah. Coach Kyle, thanks again. And uh, good luck to you in the playoffs. Thank you, Keith. Appreciate it. All right. That. All right, guys. And that'll do it for us for another edition of Bayou Time Sports. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming when we continue.